because um, hemp is, is such a uh, becoming big ag, we're really starting to talk about our waterways and, and, and the way that, that we're, um, w what water runoff is happening now, if it's a, a crop that can save the earth. What's what's going on, and and how can we save our waterways specifically, Leighton? How what, what's a big solution in this? Well, right away, uh, what Josh is talking about is very simple to do on a large scale. It's that crop residue. Um, I wanted to talk about water harvesting. I know you guys all know about a cistern connected to your gutters, right? It's easy to collect water when it's raining, but how do you get water on a large scale? when it's the middle of summer. It's not that complicated. Um, driving in here, I saw a few up, upland bogs, okay? So it's just basically a pit where there's a bunch of moisture that's collected. And so instead of connecting your gutter from the cistern and then dumping it, create a bog. And what that bog does is it holds water long term. What's in the bog? Well, you can go hugel. You put in logs, sticks, chips, and that will hold the water long term and prevent it from migrating. The key to water harvesting is slowing it down. We all know what erosion is, and erosion has to be avoided. It's stripping the organic matter. It's stripping the soil that you're, you're trying to hold on to. So if you can slow water down, you can prevent erosion. You all know what swales are. What's a bioswale? Fill it with logs, fill it with chips, cover it with dirt, and plant it. Now that's gonna hold water long-term, it's not gonna evaporate. The roots from the plants on top will prevent that 100-year storm from washing it away, which is again erosion, we've gotta prevent that. So that when you're looking at water movement across your soils, those roots are critical. Let's go a little deeper. Cover crops, love them. What do they do? Well, they build tilth. They help put organic matter back into the soil. They put carbon, which feeds the microbiome, the biology. So all of these wonderful things are happening. And guess what? That water can now infiltrate instead of just running across the top because of that never having soil bare, always having roots to hold it together and to continuously build organic matter, which guess what? Stores moisture. So let's take it a little deeper. Groundwater. We all know what groundwater is. In the old days, we all, dig, we all dug wells. And those wells we used to feed our animals or water our animals and sometimes for our own drinking water. What does a well do? Well, it actually gives the water a place to go. So it does two things. It allows you to see how well you're doing, no pun intended, as far as building groundwater up around your property. And during the summer, you'll see that there actually is water there. Where is it coming from? Your bioswales your upland bogs, which are slowly releasing that water back into the ground. Another thing it does is if you pull water out of there, it helps to wick the water back into that well. So as an emergency situation, you've got a drought going on and you need to water your plants, the more you pull out of there, the more it'll come in. So you're really giving yourself a lot of options to allowing yourself to harvest water slowly from the soil in order to water whatever you need. And this can be done on large scale or small scale. Do I love ponds? I do. I hate the restrictions. The reason I'm even talking about this is because of Wendy. Two years ago, she told me what the state of California did to her in trying to get a pond in. And I was horrified to hear that she's not allowed to have fish in it. <laughs> she has to have a bullfrog mitigation plan. No bullfrogs in the pond, or we're gonna come and pump it out. Uh, this is insane. How do you stop nature? Who are these people that are deciding that they should control nature? So instead of building a pond for all that expense, get smart. Build bogs, build, sw build swales, again, bioswales, and, and store that water and slow it down so that in the summer you have it when you need it.